Here's something I'll bet you didn't expect to hear from a realtor. It does not always make sense to buy instead of renting. Let's break this down. A lot of people expect that mortgages are going to be less than rent pretty much everywhere. But unfortunately, aside from a few areas, that's not true. The majority of mortgages actually, especially after the crazy appreciation that we got from COVID, are going to be not just more, but significantly more than the rents that you can get out of them. Especially if you're looking at a single family property, more often than not, you're probably looking at a mortgage payment that is roughly 25% over what you can rent it out for. That's before even including things like property management fees, potential vacancies, potential repairs, and you know whatever else may come up when you're renting out a property. Number two, yes, you are paying down your payment. However, there are fees associated with the purchase and the sale of a property. So. I typically let people know that your break even period tends to be about two and a half to three years. Uh, that's when you can sell your house and net zero dollars. Of course, this is going to vary pretty significantly by the area that you live in. Some places appreciate much faster. Let's look at California over the past couple decades, and then some are going to appreciate much slower. Let's say Missouri. On the low end, you're just gonna have cosmetic repairs, which yes, you would probably still get charged for in a rental, but you also have to maintain all of your appliances. If you ever have roof issues, if you ever have major lawn issues, plumbing, electrical, things like that, sure, insurance and warranties are gonna cover most of these things, but there's always gonna be some sort of deductible. So taking care of these expenses are not cheap. And so I do recommend that people have some money put aside when they purchase because there's nothing worse than letting a problem continue because you can't afford to fix it. And then it just gets worse and worse and worse because those costs can be exponential. So with all of that said, if you are going to purchase a property, make sure that you've got a few factors in mind. One, you can afford the property property taxes increase, insurance increases, stuff like that, you need to make sure that you can continue paying on this property for a while, even if there's a couple months that you're not gonna be living there uh, from a move or something else. You need to have a little bit uh, of protection there. Uh, number two, make sure you're gonna live in the property for at least a couple years, or you plan on owning it and you've done the rental comps and everything like that. Number three, when you are purchasing your property, you need to look at the end game. What are you planning to do with this property in one year, two years, three years, 30 years? Once you get to that point, it kind of doesn't matter. You've usually got enough appreciation, hopefully. Uh, but make sure that you have a plan. Whenever you're purchasing, the end goal should be what you're looking at at the start. And as always, if you need a realtor that's gonna help you through all of these decisions because there is a lot that goes into all of this, feel free to hit me up. My information is pretty much anywhere that you're watching this. And that is Dylan signing off with another real estate tip.